Today I'm going to show you how to use our email signature template for Canva and Google Docs. And this is a really cool template because a lot of times you'll find email signatures and they look really pretty and they're gorgeous and they have fancy fonts and nice layouts but the links aren't clickable in them and I've seen some frustration with that and various things that I've read and reviews on those products and you want to be able to click those links you want to be able to actually click on your social media um, images and actually be taken to the profiles you want people to be able to click on your email and your website and you also want it to look pretty let's just face it if you have a regular email signature it's not always as creative and it doesn't always look as pretty so that's kind of what we're solving with this product today. And I'm just going to dive right in and show you how to use it. So this is what you'll get when you purchase the product. It's your files and an instruction sheet. It has two links on it and it does have written instructions that go through the steps. But if it's a little confusing for you, that's why I'm making this video. So the first thing you'll do is click on your Canva files link. And this will open up Canva. So once you do click that link, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. If you do have a Canva account, it will just open this up and you can use the template. And if you don't have a Canva account, it'll take you to a page to create one. If you don't have one, I do have a Canva affiliate code. I'll put the link in the description box and it'll just help you to sign up for a free account. And I may receive a small commission from that, just a little disclaimer there. If you do go on to sign up for Canva Pro, and Canva Pro just lets you use more features, more fonts, more photos, and it gives you a lot more options. But you do not need Canva Pro to use any of my templates. They all use free images and fonts. So there's no obligation to upgrade, but you do need the free account to use the templates. All right, so now that we are on this screen and I have my account, I will use my template. I'll just click Use Template, and it will open up in Canva. And it'll probably look a little strange at first, like not really like an email template, but that's just because we're only customizing one side of the signature. And then we have a few social media links on here as well to choose from. Now that you have this part of your template open, you are ready to go ahead and upload your photo to it. Normally you would go to uploads and upload your own image or video. But for right now, we're just going to use this random girl. So once you do have your video up here, or your picture rather, up here, all you're going to do is drag it right in and replace right over the girl that's already there. And you can go ahead and resize it. You can move it over until you get it absolutely perfect and exactly where you want. And then the next thing you can do is go in and change your fonts. You can just choose from the fonts in Canva or upload your own if you know how to do that and you can just kind of move that around until you really like it and then you can go ahead and change your text color as well now this will be the divider between your signature and the words will be over here all your information so you can make that whatever color you want also maybe you can do something different something darker and then these are your social media icons. And if you want to upload another icon or you can use Canva to search for another icon over here in the elements, you could search for another social media or you can find them sometimes online and upload them. If this is not the ones you want, but these are the most common ones included here. So you can change the color of these to match the rest of your signature. go through and do that. Just whichever ones you want to use. If you don't want to use them, of course, don't bother changing the colors. We'll just do them. You can select, should be able to select more than one. Guess you can. All right, and then once it gets to look the way you want, what you'll want to do next is go to download and you'll want to download these as a PNG. There's a few file types here. It's always going to say suggested for this document. So just leave it at that. And you'll want to download all eight pages and just hit download. 
and it's going to download the whole file right to your computer. So make sure you're doing this on your computer and not your phone. Done customizing your Canva template. You're going to want to come back to your file and instruction sheet. And the next link you're going to want to click is the Google Docs link. And this is going to open up the Google Docs template. So it's going to say copy document. And yes, you do want to make a copy. So you'll just go ahead and hit make a copy. And that'll just open right up in a Google Docs template. And you can see the example signature in here. So the next thing you'll want to do is just click right on the picture, the example picture, and it's just going to bring up that picture that we saw when we went in to customize the first part of the template. What you want to do after you've selected your picture is go right up here to replace image and upload from computer. And you'll want to navigate to where you've saved your your email kit. And you do you do have to unzip that folder, so I already did that, but when you download it, it'll come as a zip folder. So you'll just have to extract that into the separate items here. So you'll want to go ahead and click on your picture. And it's just going to replace just like that. It is that simple. Just going to pop right in there. And then over here is where you'll be able to type the rest of your information, you know, what you are. Maybe you're a photographer. And you can go ahead and change the fonts up here. Google Fonts, there's quite a few of them to choose from. It's not as many as Canva, but if you get a little savvy, you can go in here and try to match your fonts to what you use in Canva. They don't give you a ton of options, but there's a good amount of options compared to like Microsoft Word or other ones that you might come across. And in the example, they both use the same font, Oswald, but you can use the same fonts, different fonts, your brand fonts, whatever works for you, but try to keep it consistent just from a design standpoint, just to make it look nice. And then you'll go ahead and fill out the rest of this information. You can do that on your own. And how do you get these to match the color of this? You might be wondering. So I'll show you that right now. You go back to your email template and choose the color that you want. So maybe you want this light blue. I want this light blue for your other images. Now you'll see that when you select it, it shows under the text color. So you just click on that and then you'll see there's kind of a code underneath light blue number 38B6FF and that's called a hex code and that's what you'll need right now. So you can click on the full color palette so that you can just copy and paste this hex code. You don't have to memorize it, you don't have to write it down. It's easier than that. And then you'll go back to your email signature and just highlight just this letter, not all of this, unless you do want to change the color. And you'll see a pretty similar looking text color box right here. And you're going to go down to the custom area and click the plus sign where it'll ask for that hex code. And just paste it right in and you'll see it comes right up. And then you can go ahead and do the rest. It should save that color in here so you don't have to keep trying to find it every time. Oops, I get the docs too. And you'll just go through and customize your colors. And then our next step is going to be to actually make your website and your email links live. Most important part, right? There's nothing worse than getting pretty signature template and then the links just don't work. It doesn't do anything. What good is that, right? So to change these, you'll just go ahead and highlight them and you'll see I already have a website that comes up here. Looks like yourwebsite.com is owned by this person, so it will show your actual website when you type yours in. So you'll just go here to edit link and I'll just you know use my website just for now and I will apply it. And the text part up here is gonna allow you to type it in look a little nicer without the HTTP or HTTPS should be so that you won't actually see that part. So you'll want to type it in up here too, because that's what people are actually going to be seeing. And the link is where they'll actually be going. So you could have this technically say something else if you want to do like my website, but I wouldn't recommend that. I just put your website in without the HTTPS and hit apply. And there it is. 
And you can change the color of that as well to be gray or whatever you'd like. And you would do the same exact thing with your email. And go ahead and edit it. And just type your email address in. It's pretty much the same on both. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, the last thing we'll do is fill in our social media icons. And that's pretty easy, too. So we're going to do the same thing we did up here to replace the image of you and we're going to go to replace image upload from computer it should pop right back into our file here so maybe we want the twitter link we'll go ahead and double click that and it should just replace super easy and it's pretty fun too because you kind of get some creative freedom with this and you can just play around with it and make it look exactly how you want. I do want to jump in for a second and just kind of tell you when you do upload this image, make sure that it's the same size as the sample image was. So if it comes in a little bigger or a little smaller, just make sure that you resize it and make sure you keep this space right here, kind of between the side of your box and the line. You can double click to move it within that if you need to, but you want to make sure that you leave this space right here. Not too much like that, but not too little because it will kind of cut it off in the final product if you do put it too far this way. So make sure you're leaving about this much space here. And if you struggle with that, you can always reach out to me and I will help you. So now that you have your actual social links, to add your profiles in, you'll just click on each one and select it, and then go to the little insert link icon up here and paste your social link and hit apply. And you are done creating. And now it's time to put it into our Gmail. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to insert your template into your Gmail signature. So you'll log into your account and you will go right up to this little gear icon for settings and then continue on to see all settings. And this will be where you add your signature in and you'll scroll down to the little text box here labeled signature. And you can have multiple emails, multiple signatures in here. You can see I have quite a few and you can always change it out for your signature or if you have multiple email addresses routed to your inbox like I do, you can kind of go through them and match up a signature with each address. But no matter what, you will create a new signature and you'll name it something. So we'll just name it. And we will create it and it'll bring up a blank box here for you. And then what you're gonna wanna do is navigate back to your Google Doc and you will want to select the entire thing all together. So you'll kind of have these two columns with your picture and then your text and social icons over here. And then you can just go ahead and copy it, control C or on the Mac, I think it's a little symbol and then C. And then you'll go back to your email settings and just put your cursor right in the box there and then control V or paste, however you do that on your computer, what's easiest for you. And then you'll see the signature shows up right here. And then what you'll be able to do is go down to this box called Signature Defaults and choose the email address. Since I have multiple email addresses, I do have these options. I'm not sure if you only have one address that you would have to do this, but I'll just show you anyways. You would want to pick the email address. So I'll do this one right now, my 31 Palms email, and then go and pick my signature. Since I had so many, I called that test number one. So I would want to set both of these to that. And then once I'm done with that, make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom and hit save changes so that you can see your signature and it'll show up. So now what you're going to want to do is go to compose a new message and select the email address that you want to use if you have more than one and you'll see your signature is right there. And that's all there is to it. Now you can start writing your message and you are good to go.
that is how you use the Canva and Google Docs email signature template. And I will leave the links down below where you can purchase this. If you are interested in that or if you've already purchased it and you're wondering how to use it, I do hope this video was helpful for you. If you're still getting stuck on anything, you can always email me at this address right here, Tamara at 31palms.com. Or you can message me on any other platform where you might have found this and I'll be happy to kind of help you and walk you through any steps. Or you can go in and kind of do it for you if you need help. I've done that before. For customers and I'm happy to do that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and have a great day. I will be back with more for you very soon.